making two recipes inspired by the cookbook that I checked out at the library. As it's almost Halloween, it's going to be spooky. Today we are going to be making Halloween witches with hats. Today we are going to be using white cake mix, water, white, the white part of an egg, um, vegetable oil, candy corn, M&Ms, twisters, um, sugar cones, and the, this is to make the hair and the face. First things first, I'm going to pour the water in. Alex, Alec is going to pour the egg in. And I'm going to pour in the vegetable oil. Whoosh! Next. Pour it in. Be careful with this. It's gonna be full. Stir it until it looks like it's ready. Which is supposed to be green? Yes, yes, they are. Thank you. And be careful and only use two drops. Just pop it off. Be careful and only use two drops. Don't squeeze it very hard. Stir it up. big mixing cup or a, a big spoon, pour it carefully into each cup. We're going to get this filled and be right back. Out of the oven, now time to cool off. And while um, you're cooking, I made a little frosting for Chef Gwen. That looks great. Now they're all cooled off and we've trimmed part of the paper you can see and now it's time to assemble the face. Just a little more. Okay. Now we're going to break this up. And 
Oops. You see, I'm trying to yeah, kind of get some icing to put it on a, on a tough tape. This might be a little messy, and if you want, you can ask a grown up to help. What color eye is you going to go for? Um, there are many different colors. It's hard to choose. There's red, there's orange, there's blue, there's green, there's yellow. You can have, never have way too much candy. Well, you can always have way too much candy, but... It's cupcakes. So Cupcake. And red eye. Can you mix colors too to make an eye? Huh? One. Just got it all over myself. Now for the two. Uh, forgot to break this. Picking up this cupcake. Dabbing that in there. And for the final, here's my witch. Candy corn. Okay. Just yeah, this is a bit cute. That. Stick that on there. to glue it on there because it might be a little breaky so just be aware that might happen and then a little nosy glue that back on ta-da here's my witch Here's my witch. Here's mine. We're best buddies. There we have it, all three witches. Now, and you can decorate the hat if you want to, but we didn't want to. Hi, I'm Chef Gwen. I'm Sue Chef Alex. Did you know that September is actually library card sign up month? Library card? What's that? A library card allows you to get books from the library. Do you mean books like this? Perfect. The, yes, this book helps me decide what recipe I'm going to make for you guys today. Libraries are wonderful. <laughs> Celebrate Library Card Sign Up Month with Wonder Woman this September. Welcome to part two of our September Halloween cooking show. We got the potatoes ready. Now it's time to cut them up, put them in the pot, and add a little salt because the salt gives it flavor. I've got my knife ready to cut them. Make sure you, you're extra careful with a knife or ask a grown up for help and even cuts. Make sure the others are out of the way and cut evenly and keep it like this. Move your fingers out of the way. I know, that's what I'm doing. This one's a little bit big. I'm gonna... Please be careful. 
babies over there. I'm gonna cut this one in half. First, keep this one right over there. Oh, wait. Scoot a pooch over here. Potatoes. Don't get on the counter, potatoes. It's important you gotta get them to the closest size as possible to the others. Now, now to put them in the water. Carefully, or else it splash everywhere. It is splashing. I'm going to put some sea salt. It's good to put this salt if you have it. they're nice and soft for, for us to be able to make our shepherd pie. Okay, I got the potatoes ready. I had a parent dra drain them off. I'm going to add the butter, milk, salt, and pepper, and then stir it up. Buddy? Ah! Sometimes the butter wants to stick. Milk. I think I have much mashed potato on my arm. <coughs> not too much salt, and not too much pepper. Okay. First, I'm gonna press it down a few times, like so. Okay, now you gotta have it off and then scrape the sides a little bit so you have all the mashed potatoes to stir. Um, please come hold this, Daddy. Thank you. Push all that down. Push all that down, okay. Straight up and down. Turn it up a little bit. Sizzle. 
That's bath time that I add my onion. I'm going to add my onion. Top of the meat. Just pour it in. Okay. Pour it in. Stir it up. Stirring it up. Oh, that is loud sizzling. Over here, it gets a little bit quieter. Move all that onion off. And it's good to have a grown up help if you want to. Okay, now we're going to add a spoonful of garlic. That should be enough. Okay. Stir it. Flip it. Hear that? It's not sizzling as loud as it was before. Okay, we're going to let it cook down a little more, then we'll start a gravy with it. Okay, now we're going to add our beef broth real quick. Pour it in. Hopefully this will spit on me. It's not. Pour it all in. Now it's a blob. And Stir it up. Okay. Hi, this is hot. Now it's time to let it cook down. Okay, we're going to stir it up a little before we add our mixed vegetables into the pan. Time to put some in. Oh! Okay, that was a lot. Now it's time to stir them up again. Never, ever, ever eat vegetables like this. Let them cook first. <laughs> na 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 <laughs> Okay, it's time to transfer it all to the baking dish over there. As you can probably not see. Okay, I had daddy transfer it all because the cast iron pan is heavy. It's a heavy item. Time to put the mashed potato ghosts on. Now it's time to put a little cheese on, then we're going to make a mashed potato ghost and add an eye and a nose. Okay, we got all our cheese on. Now it's time to add the mashed potato ghost. Push, push. Might have to use your hands. Make sure they're clean, though. Okay. 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 Just take off that part. Now four. Only we'll three or four. Depends. Probably three. Nah, four. Make another row. Okay. Little more. Take off that mold. Try and keep them the same size. You're getting smaller. Sorry. Okay. Got three now. Just three more. That equals six. And there's six people in this family. Oh. I like the goose. 
I really like ghosts, except for fits scary sometimes. <laughs> dad. Oh, don't worry. That was just dad. That wasn't a real ghost. Any weird noise you hear, that probably be from Dad. Like, whoa. <laughs> that was Dad, too. And also, we have kittens. We have four. <laughs> That's what they say. All the time. Except we're going to be making one more. That's six. Seven. I saved a little spotlight. Oh, that is big. Okay. Lob it right there. Okay, time to make the oh. One more spot. Okay, one more spot it is. Plum. Take that off the spoon. Plump a little more. We made eight. Three plus three equals six. Three plus three plus two equals eight. Okay, time to add the eyes and What are you using for your face? Vegetable bubbles. They help you grow strong. One. Two, two. Veggies help you grow strong. Oh, yeah. Veggie bowls. Veggie daddy bowls. Put the cord back in there. One, two, boop, doo -doo. One. Do some green eyes. Green eyes? Okay. Got one carrot eye, one peach eye, and we have the nose. One, two, three. Okay, he can finish those. Okay. There goes my frozen pea. Okay. There goes my carrot. One. Bob. Two. Bob. In. How about a little hair on top? Okay, sure. Hair. Every ghost needs hair. It. Alex, so Chef Alex, would you like to help make the ghost? Okay. First, I'm going to take a handful of this. This isn't a handful. Ha ha ha. And then I'm going to put a little hair on top of that ghost. Put a little hair in that goes. Uh, Chef Alec, you can do, I mean, Sue Chef Alec, you can do the rest. Each ghost is going to have a um, blend. Is oh. that one holding his hair right down? Cute. 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 Ah. Cute. Super cute. He has hair growing everywhere. Now I'm going to swap. Thoughts for Sue Chef App. First step, buddy. Now I'm going to go outside. Okay, Alan. While you're getting 
putting the bucket go space together, I'm going to make sure that the oven is good enough to put the ghosts in there. Good enough. 30, 50 degrees. 350. 350 Fahrenheit. Perfect. Those look great, Alex. I'll put a little more noses in here. Here's two more noses. Here's your two more noses. Go ahead. Go on. For a minute. First time I need the eyeballs. A square eyeball and a square eyeball and a poke. Well, I can have a torn nose. Then, uh, no, that's too long. And Pete. Only one more ghost to go, Alec. I like the two ghosts that you've already done. This will turn up the stuff. Just add the hair. That one looks great. Daddy, can you fill the film the ghost faces now? Don't those look great? A family of ghosts. Time to go in the oven. Uh, can you please open the oven door? Be careful, kids. The oven will be hot. Oh, I will fall off. Mm, that's okay. Okay, close it up. One, two, three. It's cooking now. About 15 minutes and it will be ready. Wow, those are getting ready. Here are the three biggest drools in the kitchen. The first one, first one in, first one out. That means that the first one in has to be the first one out or else it get gross. Second rule, clean as you go. It means clean as you cook or go. Rule number three, never ever be afraid to, to test or taste something. Well, so you'll never know what you like or don't like. Okay, it's time to take it out. We'll be right back. Boy, it looks delicious. Let it cool off, then we'll have yummy dinner. <laughs> 